Hey Energy fans, the wait once again finally almost over. After what seems like an eternity since Oklahoma City has played here at Taft Stadium, OKC back on the pitch. Five straight road games if you count the Open Cup match for Oklahoma City since last they played in the friendly confines. But now back at Oklahoma City after that trip to Salt Lake where they fell 3-1 to the top team in the USL West. The Energy, glad to be back in the Sooner State. Yeah, it definitely feels really good to be back. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Uh, road trips are tough, and when you have that many kind of in a row, it wears on you. And you know, unfortunately, we came out with you know a couple of suspensions and some injuries, and it's just one of those times where you just gotta stick together and and uh, bounce back and come back uh, come back stronger for the next game. But weird schedule. Uh, again, a big stretch with, uh, with no home games. Uh, now we have a great, fun game uh, ahead of us against Halsa. Normally very intense and, and entertaining game, so I expect, uh, expect a lot of people out here tomorrow. I, I expect the uh, Oklahoma City team uh, that comes out extremely hungry and, and competitive. we got to be more competitive as a team. Uh, it's not enough. Four or five guys are extremely competitive. The, the 11 guys that get out there, they got to be hungry and, and we got to be ready to, to compete. Yes, they do now take on a Tulsa side that has been playing better of late. The Roughnecks started the season, then dipped in June. But last Saturday, Tulsa dropped the Real Monarchs 2-0 at home. Coach knows the Roughnecks are a different team from years past. We've got to give Tulsa credit for what they've done this season. They really turned it around from, from last year. Uh, good experienced team, uh, a lot of good individual players, uh, especially the number 10 Cafe is a, is a fantastic player. A uh, big difference uh, for the Tulsa team. Uh, kind of floating around a little bit wherever he wants and on the field. Uh, he earned that credit with, uh, with his teammates and with the, with the coaching staff. Uh, he's, a, he's a very, very good player and he's a different maker and that's obviously a guy we got to keep an eye on. As the table stands right now, Oklahoma City and Tulsa tied for ninth in the USL West with 18 points. So the game is big for the playoff push, but it is of course the first game in a three-game Black Gold Derby. Oklahoma City 5-1-2 and two all time against the Roughnecks, 4-0 and oh last year, but this is a rivalry. Make no bones about it. The players know the fans are excited. You know, it's been uh, what, what I've seen. It's it's and been a part of it's been a great rivalry so far so having uh having the home fans uh behind us will give us a little needed needed boost after being on the road for so long it makes it makes it a little more intense i don't want to say hostile but uh <laughs> makes it fun and uh it's a good experience uh, i know both teams enjoy it and yeah at the end of the day we're playing soccer and you know we don't hate each other but it's uh it's fun to get the juices going and uh, get some super competitiveness going. So. Now, even though we're in the dog days of summer, this match with Tulsa will be the 16th of a 32-game season for Oklahoma City, so we're just now halfway through. Roster notes Woj still out with a broken arm, Miguel sitting out the final game of a three-game red card suspension, and Cody Andrews sitting out as well with the red card he got for the penalty against Salt Lake. Oh, by the way, the most important roster note, Mickey Daly has platinum blonde hair. OKC and Tulsa set to kick at 7.30, but really a full day of football here at Taft. It starts off at one o'clock with the U21 game on the pitch at Taft Stadium, and then be here after that for a blood drive that continues. Go to obi.gov for more information as you get a chance to donate blood, get a pork sandwich, get a free ticket to the game, and then the first 2,000 people through the gates get a free t-shirt courtesy Dr. Pepper. The game, you can watch it on KSBI, also at streaming live at energyfc.com, and then on Sunday, the U23s play their final regular season game that will be up in Edmond. So much going on, and we're always keeping you up to speed with everything you need to know about your guys in green. I'm Brent Skarkey for Energy FC TV.